Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing today? It is currently 7, 12 p.m. on Wednesday afternoon. I just got all of my videos um, uploaded. I haven't watched my drama video back yet though, so I have to watch that back here in just a little bit. I'll do that. And um, once I get my food, I am on my way to get a poke bowl at this place called Bebop, I think it's called. It's B-I-B-O-P. And Alex had ordered food there, or like, um, the office ordered food from there the other day. And he, because I was like, where can I get a poke bowl in Indianapolis? And he was like, oh my God, we just ordered one from this like Asian restaurant that just opened. It's called like, it's like an Asian fusion restaurant too. And the bowl looks just exactly like the bowl that I ordered. So I'm like so excited about it. Oh my God, I'm gonna get, I might get two and save one for tomorrow. I don't know. We'll have to see. But anyway, it is currently 75 degrees today in Indianapolis. It felt very much like a fall day today. Like, it was very windy and um, just like cooler outside. It was definitely not a pool day, which was fine because I slept in today. I actually slept in until like 12.30 and um, after I got done vlogging last night, I listened to the Dexter book for like a half an hour and um then I came home and I mean, I was like right asleep. I fell asleep so quick and um, slept till like 12.30. I guess I kind of needed it because I felt really rested when I got up. And um, then I went and did a review at Dunkin' Donuts and then I went and picked up the dogs and they were so cute and so excited. And um, they were just like so, when they came out, they were like looked at me and they came running over. They were so sweet. They just had baths. So they had little bandanas on their neck. Boo had a yellow one, I think. and. Uh, Tucker's was green. He took his off as soon as he got home. He was like scratching at it and just kind of fell off. But anyway, tonight I am going to meet my good Judy Valerini at the casino. So I am vlogging early and I haven't seen Valerini in a while. So I'm excited about that. And yeah, and um, that's that. And so I am uh, vlogging early tonight instead. And I may make it a short vlog. I don't know. We'll see. Because I want to listen to the Dexter book um, when I am driving up there later. I think I'm going to eat and then I might rest for an hour and then take a quick shower and head up there. So when I was, so I put my camera in this like beanbag thing that's specifically for like um, phones and cameras. I think it's just for phones. Somebody asked me the other day and I sent them a link of what it looks like you can get it on Etsy. And I think somebody sent me this bean bag. But anyway, there must be a hole in it because these little white things, I, could, I even picked one up and showed it to you. They're too small to even show you. I don't even know that you can see it. I'm trying to pick one off because they're all over my dashboard. Well, here you can kind of see one on my thumb or my, do you see that? There's one like sticking in my finger or my thumb right there. Do you see that? Anyway, there. when I picked up the bean bag, I brought it out and it's like a bunch of them went all over the place. I'm like, great. That's my day. So I got up today, did the review video, went and got the dogs, brought them home. Talked to my neighbors for a second because they were outside. So Boo and Tucker like ran around and saw their dog and stuff. Then I came in, then I made a drama video, then I made a Peterson's video, then I made a, a video for my Peter Does Stuff channel. I just unpacked my bag. Threw my laundry into the washing machine. Uh, uh, talked to Alex called he was uh, getting food and bringing it home and he was getting chicken fingers and fries <laughs> so healthy we're so healthy aren't we and um, so yeah he's gonna eat that and then I was like what are you doing tonight and he was like I'm not doing anything I'm totally relaxing he'll probably go to bed super early because he was so tired when we got home last night. I felt so bad for the poor guy because he was like, had to work today. He didn't go into work until 11 today though, so. And that's been my day. <laughs> it's weird coming back into town. It feels like nothing changed, nothing happened. Like I wasn't even gone, except for now I'm tan and I wasn't really that tan before. But other than that, everything seems just completely normal. And, uh,. I think it's supposed to be warm, like, later in the week. Warmer than it is now, but now it's not. My, my head must have got burnt because it's been, like, itching all day today. And I, like, looked, and it's, like, peeling a little bit on my head. 
which I'm sure because I was out in the sun forever. That was a Lamborghini. You don't see very many Lamborghinis in Indiana. We're not fancy like Los Angeles and stuff like that. I don't know what other cities. Dallas. What other cities would have Lamborghinis? Miami would have Lamborghinis. But we don't have many Lamborghinis here in Indiana. People get real excited when you see fancy cars around here. Which is interesting because sometimes when I vlog and I go to Zionsville, there is a Bentley dealership. And I think probably like maybe once or twice a year I see a Bentley. Like I don't, I don't, who's buying Bentleys in Indianapolis? <laughs> I don't know, but I don't see many Bentleys around. Lots of SUVs, minivans, and uh, hybrids. Lots of hybrids. Speaking of which, I think that's what right there. Oh my gosh. I am a little tired today. Because I was just kind of going, going, going all day today. Is somebody just calling me? I would have heard it, surely. It would have come up. But anyway... It's always like a weird, it's always weird coming back into like town after being gone for a couple days. It's weirder when I'm gone for longer. I mean, this was like actually the perfect like amount of days to be gone. Cause it doesn't feel like anything has kind of changed or anything. Like when I'm gone for like seven or plus, seven plus days, like it really feels like when I'm back, like, oh God, like the transition is hard for me. I always have a hard time leaving to go on vacation and coming back. I always like have a hard transition with that. More so leaving than coming, honestly, because it's like packing, getting the dogs ready, all this stuff, which I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, that's just part of it, right? To be able to be so blessed to go on vacation. But at the same time, it's like, I don't really feel like I'm on vacation until I'm like sitting on the plane ready to go. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Dogfight fitness. I've never heard of that before. I've taken the back roads to um, the Poke Bowl place. I looked. It's open until 9.30. So I can vlog for a little bit and then head over there. I think I'm going to try to recreate exactly what I got because it was so good. Although the protein, they had this like, they were like crunchy, temp I think they were like tempura shiitake mushrooms. They were so good. Well, there's actually two pokey places. The other pokey place is called like Ahi Top Pokey or something. And it's in Fishers too. And they had their, they had like salmon, steak, they had like chicken, four different kinds of protein. And then they had tofu. I'm not a big lover of tofu. Um, I don't hate it, like I can eat it, but I, it wouldn't be my first pick. I can remember when I became a vegetarian, I was like, oh, this means I'm gonna have to eat like a lot of tofu because I won't have you know, any other sources of like protein or whatever. And I had like friends of mine back in the day that were like, when I was like in high school and stuff that were vegetarians and they would like, have you ever seen like a block of tofu? It's gross looking. <laughs> And there's nothing about it that's desirable to me. What did, I got some soup one time. This is recently. Because it was this place that we went when Alex's cousin Nina was in town. And it's, the place was closed down since then. But it was like this. I feel like it was a Thai restaurant. And I got like some soup and it had tofu in it. It was so gross. I thought I was going to be sick. Yeah, I'm not a big tofu fan. And then one time I got fried rice with tofu in it. And I was really excited because I thought, well, maybe I'll like this since it's like in something like that. And it was gross too. I didn't like it. Like, I'm, it's not like gross. Like, I can't eat it. Like, I can eat it. It's just, there's something about the consistency of it that, like, I expect it to taste like one thing and it tastes like, it really, tofu really doesn't have a taste to it at all, really. I reviewed the new Dunkin' Donuts bubble tea today, which is called the Popping Bubbles. I guess there's for some reason they can't call it boba tea or something, I don't know. Or maybe they don't wanna call it boba tea because it's not really boba tea, it's like these popping bubbles. It was good though, I liked it. It's in the refrigerator at home, I didn't finish all of it. 
So yeah, like back in the day, like going on vacation and then coming home and like transitioning. I, the hardest thing for me, honestly, and this is gonna sound so stupid, but is like, I don't know, let me know if you feel the same way, is like Alex getting up and leaving for work when I'm like used to like spending the entire day with him and then he's like not home. It's like, we still have leftover dog food that's down there. I forgot to take it in. And then um, it's like, we were just spending all day, every day together. And now like, I don't see him till the evening. It's weird, you know? So. <sighs> but we had a really nice trip and a really nice time reconnecting. And we had some really deep talks in this trip. It was nice. We had some really silly, funny talks on this trip too. We got laughing about something so hard the other night. What was it? When we were out to dinner. I said something and he started laughing. What was it? And then we started talking about this whole thing. I can't remember now. Loving the Dexter book. But I also realized that I have like five days left. So I have to finish this Dexter book so that I can read Mexican Gothic, which is Peter's book club pick for June. As much as I would have loved to have read Malibu Rising, the Taylor Jenkins Reid book while I was in Florida, I'm kind of really glad that I did not and that I read it before because I was like really focused on it when I was listening to it. And it's not like one of those books that you want to kind of like, not kind of just be listening to a little bit or, you know, reading and looking up and seeing what's going on. Like you want to pay attention to it, you know? not wanting to have to read the same paragraph over and over and over five times. Like, it's a book that you want to pay, pay attention to the specific details of, because it's, it's really that good. So, I might watch um, an episode of that Black Summer tonight. I also don't want to come back, now that I've started all these shows, like, not finish them. Like, I want to keep on watching them, too. So... Tomorrow night, we're going over to my in-law's house. Well, my... Are we going over to Carlos and Liliana's? Or are we going? I think we're going over to my mother-in-law's house tomorrow night for like a birthday thing for Alex's birthday. We always get together for everybody's birthdays. Alex's mom's birthday is like the day after mine, so we always she and I do something together for our birthday. Tomorrow I need to spend some time cleaning the kitchen and putting some stuff away. It's like all organized, but it's like, I have all these Starbucks cups out. I mean, they're like straight and orderly, you know, and organized, but they're like out on the counter. And then I have those like mason jars. They're out on the counter. I need to put them, I need to find a place to put them. And um, I just kind of need to clean some stuff out tomorrow. I'm actually gonna go this way and see if I can find this place first. And then, I'm gonna end my vlog on going in there and getting it. There's road construction down here though, so you can't get through. You have to go around, I think. I don't remember how Tanya and I did it the other day. Oh, I think we went through Target. Oh, uh, it's closed off, but then there's also police out here. What's going on? Are they having some event or something. Oh, it looks like a run, like people are running. Like a lot of people. Oh, what's going on here? That's weird that on a Wednesday night they would have some kind of like marathon or something, but sure enough, there's all these people running. What is this? Keep right. Yeah, there's like some, can you guys see? There's like some marathon here. People are like running. There's tons of them. Like the more I go, there's more and more people. <laughs> Keep right, no through tra traffic. I don't think I can go this way. Do you guys see all these people? Right lane closed ahead. Are people going there? 
and turning. Oh, they are. I'm gonna go that way. Wouldn't it be so funny if I pulled in here and this is where it was, the pokey place? Here's a ramen place. Oh, they're all going into the crumble cookies. There's a line out there. I wonder what this run is that's going on here. Is this guy turning or what is going on? What kind of like run or marathon or whatever are they having on a... Don't you think that's weird on a Wednesday night? I mean, like, can you guys see this? It's like lots of people. You guys are like, we don't see anybody. There's like tons of people running here. I'm gonna show you while I turn. Oh my God, it's massive down here. There's like some huge thing going on down here. I wonder what this is. Oh, Hometown Heroes, 2021 Spark Fishers. I don't know what that is, but they're all running over there. And they're all hanging out. Mm -hmm. Don't they usually have like marathons and stuff like that on the weekends? My dad, when I was growing up, he always like, he started by running the mini marathon, which is before the race. It's one of the things they do, race day month, like the month of May in Indianapolis. And so when he and my mom got separated, my dad started running like a lot. And he um, did the, uh, the mini marathon, it's called it, because I think it's like half a marathon. I think it's 13 miles, or maybe it's like, maybe it's three miles, or I don't know what it is, but anyway. Because a half marathon's 13, right? I don't think it's that long. I think it's like three or five, I don't know what it is, but a lot of people in Indianapolis do the mini marathon. So he did the mini marathon, and I helped him like train. I would like ride my bike next to him while he was running and stuff as a kid. And um, I remember because this one road that's like goes out to his house, um, the house was being built when we would, and we would, he would run out there and I would ride my bike. And um, people would like throw dust and like rocks up into my dad's face while he was running because it was a gravel road. It wasn't like completed yet. And now it's like massive and has like Walmart and Meyer and all these different restaurants. It's crazy how this area, when I was growing up, this whole area around here, oh, there it is, Ollie Pokey, there's another one. So I'll have to try that sometime too. The whole, this whole area around here was like not finished at all. And now there's like housing addition after housing addition after housing addition and you know, man-made lakes and strip malls and major restaurants and hotels and Ikea. And it's like none of this was out here when I was like growing up. When I was in high school, none of this was here. It's crazy. But anyway, he, my dad and my stepmom, they ran all the time. Like even when they would go like, out of, if we went out of town, they ran every morning. Like they would get up and they would like put on their shoes and go running, like every morning. They were big, big, big time runners. Which is crazy to me when I look back on that, you know, like in retrospect, I'm like, that's so crazy that they were such big deal runners. Okay, I think I'm gonna go over here and order this, and then I'll vlog on my way home. I'm really excited to order this. Okay, it's in this Fisher's District. Oh, they have a Shake Shack too, which is absolutely packed. You can't even, 
Is there a line? I don't want to try that. Where is this Bebop place? I know I've seen it before. Because I said to, oh, there it is. Because I said to Tanya Jean, I was like, what is Bebop? She was like, I don't know. Well, now I know. It's a pokey place. This is so built up over here, it's crazy. Okay, oh, Bibby Bob, Bibby Bob, Asian Grill. Is this like, do you have to go in there and sit down? Or can you just go in and order it? I don't know, to be honest with you. Okay. New coconut milk pudding with mango. Oh my God, that's not, I should do a review of this, shouldn't I? All right, you guys. Um, here, I'll show you what it looks like. So, you can see it says Bibby Bop. Then out here they have the little signs of all their food. I'm very excited to try this. So, I will, I'm gonna go get this and then I will be back in two and two. All right, I'm back. My God, you guys, this place is so cute. So you go inside and, hold on a second, I'm charging my phone and it went right over to my, my iPod, my music. So you go inside. Why is it not pulling up my Sirius? You go inside and um, it was actually pretty packed. I was like, you guys are really busy. And the guy at the end, they were so nice that worked in there. He was like, yeah, he was like, we catch our breath or something and it just like slows down for a second. And then he's like, it's busy again. So you go inside and it's like, um, it's very much like Chipotle, the way that it's set up. So you pick the base that you want. And then, and so I'm gonna show you what I got in just a second. And then you pick um, the vegetables you want. And then you pick the sauce that you want. And then you pick the protein. So this is so funny after what I just said, but it actually looks kind of good. Mine came, I got two different bowls because I wanted to try two different things and then try and save one. It came to, well, I tipped, so it came to twenty three sixty four. dollars uh, but before that, it was nineteen seventy, and I got a drink. They only have one size drink, and I got a Dr. Pepper, because I was craving Dr. Pepper. Okay, so these are, I got extra sauce. Oh, I got extra sauce, too. I wanted to get this uh, wasabi mayo that I had on the one in Miami, but they didn't have that. So they had like five different sauces. They had like a ginger sauce and like a vinaigrette. Um, this is called yum yum sauce. So that's what I got. I don't want to like, I don't know if I can take this off, but this is what it looks like. So this one is actually cauliflower. cauliflower. I'm afraid if I take this off, I'm not gonna be able to get it back on. This is cauliflower rice. And then I got, I don't know if you guys can, can you see it? So it's cauliflower rice. Oh, it smells so good. And then I got potatoes, corn, carrots. Uh, oh, no, 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 this is the purple rice. They have purple jasmine rice. Pineapple, cheese, and egg on it. So that's the first one that I got. I think these are pretty big sizes for everything you get. So this is how deep it is. That's the first one I got. Oh, this one I can't open because it's like falling out. And this is the second one. And I got red cabbage, potato. I got basically the same things on top, but this one is ca cauliflower rice on the bottom. And they smell so good. But then I also got um, just a little bit of it this is potato, but over here on the side, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, you can see like one piece of it right here. Oh, I got mushrooms on this one. I didn't get mushrooms on the other one. Right here, you can see I got like just a little spoon scoop of tofu. Because they had fried tofu in there. So I was like, well, it won't hurt me to have some protein. I actually think two meals plus a drink and extra sauce for $23.64 is really good. Don't you think that's really good? I do. And everybody's like walking around here with their dogs and stuff. It's so neighborly through here. I think there's like apartments on top of here or something. Yeah, there are. So now I'm gonna head home. I'm so excited about this. This might be like my new favorite place that I can go. And um, oh, there's people sitting out here eating. How cute is that? 
I should have taken that exit right there, but I'm gonna go this way. Because people were ahead of me. You can also get it on salad. They had it there where you could get like a lettuce base if you wanted it just as a salad. And they had miso soup in there too, which my husband loves miso soup so much. They must be building another hotel right here. This looks like a hotel. I don't know what we need all these hotels for right here. Cause there's like, I mean, that would be like a cute little area to come, I guess for a weekend and just hang out and like eat somewhere. But like, other than that, I don't know really, unless you had family around here, what, you know, what's going on around here. My lips are so dry from, I'm gonna have to try the other place too. The, uh, I was gonna say my lips are so dry from being out in the sun. I'm gonna have to try the other place, the uh, Ahi Pokey too, and see which one I like better. Since I'm all about the sauces, probably if that other place has the wasabi mayo. But I might like this yum yum sauce, we'll see. I'm excited to get home and eat this and try this, it looks delicious. My head is kind of hurting right now. It's a beautiful evening. Valerie texted me while I was in there and she's leaving at 8.30. So, I may wait and take a shower when I get home and just eat and change real quick and then head up there. I don't want to get up there much later than when she gets up there because I want to hang out with her. Plus, I don't want to stay super late because I want to come home and um, get a good night's sleep and have a good day tomorrow. So, but we'll have fun. It'll be fun. You know, I was just on the radio when I was sitting there. It was like this. Was it inside there? Or was it in my car? Oh, it was inside. It was a mix of the. Remember that song? Da, da, the rhythm of the night. <laughs> oh man, my head is hurting. I think because I'm hungry and I haven't eaten. Alex did not get a poke bowl the other night. But he had had them before, because when I ordered it, he was like, I think you'll really like it. I really like the tempura. These, now these mushrooms are different. These are just like sauteed mushrooms, but I really liked the tempura or the deep fried mushrooms or whatever they are, they were so good. I have a friend of mine who's vegetarian and, <clears throat> and she's Indian, she's from India. And she, there's this Indian restaurant that she goes to and she and her cousin, and she was telling me that like once, a, like every Sunday, I think, every Saturday or every, I have to call her and ask her. Every Saturday and every Sunday, or I think they have like um, a buffet that they do. And she said it's really like affordable. But she said that one, like one day a month, she was gonna find out for me when it was. One day a month, she's been a vegetarian for like literally like 30 years. One day a month, um, they do like, um, I think like a lot of her family and stuff is vegetarians, but anyway, they do a, like a vegetarian Indian buffet and she's like, Peter, you would die. It is so good. You've got to go and try it. She's like, it's all like curry dishes and things like that, but it's all vegetarian. So I've got to find out when that is because I've been like really wanting to go to that. And it's really close to my house. And she said nobody ever goes there either. She said it's always dead when you go there. She said the people that own it are really, really nice. And so, I'm gonna go and try that place. There's a lot of really fun restaurants in Indianapolis that I haven't tried. That area in there alone, that's where Alex and I went to go eat with his aunt and uncle. We went to that steakhouse called 1933. But there's, and I've been to that. There's like, it starts with like, it's like DH or HD or something like that. We went there when his friend was in town from Dallas. That was really fun. I got a hummus board, like a, it's like a charcuterie board, but it's all hummus and it had like vegetables and, 
PETA and stuff on it. That was really, really good. PETA, like my name. That was really good. And then I got, I think like a mac and cheese or something. I love to go to restaurants that have like a lot of vegetarian options because then I get really excited because there's like, you know, five or six, seven things on the menu that I can have. Actually, this place that we go quite a bit is called District Tap and it's just like this like local like, I think it's a, it might be a chain, I'm not sure, but it's kind of like, um, oh, Cheesecake Factory meets Charleston's meets like local bar. And they actually have really good stuff on their menu. They have like pretzels, like big, like, you know, the big pretzels that you can get at like Auntie Anne's for like appetizers. They have a wedge shallow that I get without bacon. They have mac and cheese. They have a Mediterranean wrap sandwich that has hummus on it that I get that's so good. Um, they have like, you can get nachos with no meat on it. Alex and Melissa always get the nachos there. What else do they have? They have all different kinds of stuff there. I just like trying different kinds of food. But yeah, like it makes it so much more fun to go to a restaurant where there's like actually options that I can have. They just built apartments here. I oh, know it's a senior living community and they called it Richie something because it's right by that Richie Woods that I go to for my Peter Does Stuff channel. Downtown Indianapolis has some fantastic new restaurants. Alex has gone to quite a bit of them with some of his friends, but I haven't gone to them. I don't love going downtown. It's not like my favorite thing. It's very crowded and congested. Which is funny that like I like uh, going to Miami, but it's just a different, I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of a different vibe. When we got in my car at the airport, oh my God, you guys, that um, this Glade scent thing, the entire car smelled like this. It's not even, like usually they are like used really quick, but it's not. It's a small little thing, I love it so much. Anyway. I don't know what show I wanna watch when I get home. There's actually a Mexican restaurant in that area too that Alex really likes. I think it's called Sang Sangria or Sangrita. Sang it's like Sangria, but Sangria is the drink. So it's like Sangrita or something like that. And everybody that goes to it really, really likes it. I'm so excited that I got this because if you ever go to a restaurant, you have something like as soon as you leave, you're craving it again. I've been like craving this since we left that restaurant sugar the other night because it was so good. I loved it. I just don't know which one to eat first. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. I'll probably eat the, the cauliflower one first. Purple rice looks cool too. It's like jazz. It's like a jazz purple jasmine rice. Tonight I've got to do a hydrating face wash or face mask on my face when I go to sleep and do the Laneige lip mask and everything. Before we had left, Alex made like when I was taking a shower like the morning before we went to the airport. Alex was so sweet, he made the bed all nice. When we came home yesterday, the bed was like, had all the little pillows on it, all the big pillows, everything nice on there. It was so nice to come home to that last night. We try to always make the bed nice before we leave. But I just, I just like pull up the comforter, you know, and the everything just to kind of make it kind of nice. He like put everything on there. I mean, it was like all the stuff that I had bought for the summer bedding, it looked so nice. I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my gosh. This is so cozy to come home to. I bet the dogs were excited to see him. I'm kind of surprised Alex didn't get chicken fingers when we were down there because this one day we were at the pool 
and it was like three couples with their kids. This one couple had kids, it's two little girls. Oh, I talked about it because she came up, she wanted to, to meet me, her mom said. But anyway, one of them ordered chicken fingers and I saw, it was like this glass bowl that came out with like all of these chicken fingers in it. And um, it's weird because like I, since this last time of being a vegetarian, I haven't really craved chicken fingers. Now the time before, I really did crave chicken fingers, but this time I haven't at all. Really, like every once in a while, I'll be like, mm, that kind of sounds good. But, but that day when they, the server brought them out there, and or that pool attendant brought them out there, or server, or whatever they were, I was like, oh my god, that looks so good. <laughs> but the veggie nachos with um, cheese and everything on it, they're really good too. So they're just as good. Now I have that Rhythm of the Night song stuck in my head. It is the rhythm of the night. Those people are out there getting a U-Haul. Let me just tell you, if I had to get into a U-Haul tonight and pack my stuff up and move somewhere, I have a guy I can't even imagine. I hate moving. I hate, 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 hate moving. And I try to be a good friend when people ask me, they're like, Will you help me? It hasn't happened in quite a while. When people are like, do you mind me, uh, or do you mind helping me move? And I'm like, sure. <laughs> I mean, you gotta do it. You gotta ask people to help you because it's so, so hard to move. But it's like one of those favors that when people ask you, it's like nobody wants, who wants to help somebody move? Nobody, right? And it's funny because like in recovery, I feel like it's a favor that gets asked a lot because you, I mean, people are constantly moving, you know, I feel like, and, um, I was just talking to a friend of mine about this at the last meeting that I was at because somebody was saying something to him about will we be done by such and such time. And he was like talking about helping somebody move. He's like, no, I'm helping so-and-so move. And Oh man, I can't believe that my birthday is next week. It's less than a week away. I will be 49 years old. It feels crazy. I mean, I honestly, I almost can't believe that I'm gonna be 49. I don't feel like I don't know how to explain it. I don't necessarily feel like old. Like just sitting here, like right now, if I just like if I'm not looking at myself in the camera and I don't see like the white beard and the white hair and stuff, which by now like I see every day, so it doesn't really like I don't connect that with like being older. But if I'm just like looking ahead thinking, like first of all, if I'm just looking ahead thinking, I don't think of myself with a beard. I think of myself with no beard, like when I still had brown hair. And I don't think of, I think of myself probably like in my head when I'm just like looking ahead, like in my early to mid thirties. I don't, I definitely don't think of myself as much or much younger than that. But to think that I'm going to be 50 in a year is like, no, I don't think that either. You know what I mean? Like it just kind of like happened. Like one day I was like 30 and the next day I was 50 and it's like, what happened? You know, all of a sudden it's like. I didn't expect it. I didn't expect it at all. But I don't have a problem with it either. Like I said in previous videos, it's not like about the getting older or the wrinkles. I mean, I really could care less about that stuff. I, I really honestly younger, I thought that I would be somebody that would be really consumed with like the wrinkles and the white hair and whatever. I just don't care. I just, I realize that <laughs> The keeping up with it is like such like a job of its own. Like when I was coloring my hair for so long, somebody said on like our Q&A that we did, they said, I'm surprised that Alex colors his hair and Peter doesn't. And I was like, what? Alex doesn't color his hair. <laughs> I don't know if they both, they thought that we both have white hair or something. I don't know, but I mean, Alex has colored his hair before, but he colors it like, he's colored it darker, he's colored it lighter. He's had highlights a lot since we've been together. Um, a lot of blonde highlights and stuff like that in his hair. I like his hair natural like it is now. But you know, like, when I was coloring my hair, 
first of all, towards like the last, especially like the last five years, because it was growing in so quick, that I would have to get my hair color layer every three weeks. And then when the beard came in white, it was just like, what am I doing? And I tried to like for a couple, you know, I think like two or three months tried to keep it up and it just was like this is just such a waste like why am I continuing to try to do this and like I remember when my dad said to me just Pete just I asked him what to do and what did he think and he was like just let it go but you know when I was younger I honestly thought that I would be somebody that would be I mean I, we didn't know about Botox back then but you know I thought I would be the person that would be consumed with the facelifts and the creams and all this stuff which I do love the skincare stuff but obviously if I'm going to go and get my skin as burnt as I do on trips and tan like I obviously don't care that much about it right like other than like I want to stay healthy as far as like skin disorders and you know all that kind of stuff I don't want to get sick um but I'm you know fully aware that when I go out in the sun it's not healthy for me like that but other than that like as far as like the wrinkles that come from it or the white hair and all that stuff I don't care like I really don't what's hard is I'm slower, I'm tired, which a lot of that probably contrib is contributed to, to by the weight. I also am just like not ready for time to be over, you know? Like I'm not ready for the last stages of my life yet, which I'm really, quite frankly, probably getting ready to enter, you know? And it's like, I just feel like there's so much left for me to enjoy. And I think part of it is that, and my mind changes a lot about this, you know? Like I said, I did this whole vlog the other night where I was talking about, like, I don't really have things that I want to do still left. And I got done with that vlog, and I was like, you know, that's really not true. Like, I mean, there's nothing that I feel, maybe I wasn't, like, vocalizing it well. There's nothing that I feel like I have to do. Like, if, if I knew tomorrow was the end of my life, and I was like, did you live a good life? Did you do the things you wanted to do? Absolutely, 100%, yes. I have had a magically amazing life. I've had... You know, just, I've had been surrounded by just amazing people. I've had just awesome experiences in my life, amazing experiences, and I've been blessed, you know? So, no, there's nothing that I really feel like if I didn't do this, like, my life wouldn't be complete. But there is still a lot of things I want to do. There's still a lot of places I want to go and experience. They're just not really, I don't know if I would call them bucket list things. I don't think of them in terms of that, you know? And it's funny because a couple years ago, I was like, okay, bucket list things that I've never done before. And honest to God, like, the, in the top 10 was like, I had never had blueberry pancakes or chocolate chip pancakes. And I remember Melissa, she took me to the original International House of Pancakes and um, we had uh, like she got chocolate chip pancakes and blueberry pancakes and some other kind of pancakes and um, and we tried like all these different things and it was like a really really cool and I was like oh you know so there's like one thing that I did that I hadn't done before but you know before that there weren't like all the things that were on there were things that were kind of like that you know what I mean they weren't like these like huge like bucket list kind of things so I don't know you know I don't know what things I feel like I need to do before I hit the earth. This must be a gay couple next to me because they have the, the gay license plate in Indianapolis. Do you guys have those in your town? Where it's like you donate so much money to a certain organization here in town. It's the rhythm of the night, the night, oh yeah. Pokeball, Pokeball. All right, you guys, listen. I'm going to get off here now and end this vlog a little bit short. I thought I would make it about 30 minutes, and it's like um, 43 minutes, so it's not too short. It's not too short. I'll make tomorrow's longer, I promise. Anyway, because I can film on the way to my mother-in-law's and I can film on the way home from my mother-in-law's and I can listen to my audiobook as well. So anyway, I'm gonna get off here now. So um, if nobody else has told you this today, I love you. I hope that you guys are having a magically amazing Thursday. I love you so much and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Goodbye, Gajitis. I love you. Bye. Love ya.